In this video, we will discuss how neural networks work and what they can be used for in real life. And neural networks are used a lot in AI and one real world example that you, are pro you all are probably familiar with is ChatGPT. So it's essential to know how uh, neural networks work as a bunch, a lot of AI products are becoming essential in our everyday lives. In a neural network, there are a bunch of perceptrons. And a perceptron takes in inputs and has a set of weights and a bias. And right here you can see the calculation for solving the output of a perceptron, which is uh, taking this vector of uh, inputs and taking and taking the dot product of that with the vector of weights for each weight in the perceptron. So basically, and then and then you would take the dot product of that and then add to a bias and then you would do the a, a specific activation function of uh, that value which is shown where my mouse is pointing and then this is also a more simplified version of that with the values x1 x2 x3 with the weights and then a bias and the activation function can be and this Greek letter represents the activation function. And the activation function, there are many activation functions and each one is used based on the context of the neural network. For instance, there is a sigmoid one, a tan h1, a real one where basically when the inputs greater than zero you return the value of the input and when it's less than zero you just return zero and a linear one which just returns x. Now I'll do um, an example problem of uh, solving for the output of a perceptron to make sure you guys understand. So I would recommend you pause and try to solve this. Right, now that you're back, um, we can see that the answer is 14 by multiplying by hanging the dot product of these two vectors and then adding it by the bias. Now we will discuss backpropagation. Backpropagation is the process of a neural network changing its weights and biases in order to achieve a desired output value. In a small neural network example displayed below, L is used to indicate the layer of the network and WL is the weight of the perceptron in layer L, and Y is the target value of the network. Two other variables that are considered are cost and the output value. And C is the cost of the network, and, a of, and AL is the output of the perceptron in layer L. When doing backpropagation, the one Thing you want to solve for is for each weight and bias is the derivative of the cost with respect to um, the weight. And that's what we're going to try to solve for. And with this, you have to calculate the derivative of the cost with respect to the output value of the network and the derivative of the output of the perceptron with respect to its weight. And this can be calculated as shown below, or solved below, and um, they are solved by for like the derivative cost function is solved by um, multiply by taking the two and moving it in front of here, and since there's no coefficient of a of al, 
there it's just uh, this is the answer for that and in the second one we use chain rule where we take the derivative of the um, activation function and do chain rule and multiply the coefficient of WL uh, as shown here and the derivative of the uh, activation functions are shown in the slideshow and these are the derivative of the previously shown activation functions Here is an example of a larger network where layers L minus 3, L minus 2, L minus 1, and L are used. And in each layer, uh, each, perceptron, each perceptron has an index from 0, like in L minus 3, it is 0, 1, 2, 3, and in L minus 2, it is 0, 1, 2, and L minus 1, 0, 1, and in L, 0. And the goal of this example is to try and find the cost, the derivative of the cost with respect to the weights highlighted in blue. And um, try and, you can pause the video now and try and solve for them. Now to end, this is how you solve for the derivative of the cost and with respect to the weights in a larger network. So basically, you just keep um, taking the derivative of one output to its input. So um, you have the derivative of, right here you have the output of this perceptron. You're taking the derivative of that with respect to the previous one that's connected to it and you keep on doing this until you're able to to get access to the weight you're trying to solve for and which is right here and um, that's how you solve for the derivative of cost with respect to w l minus one now with the example of the derivative of the cost with respect to derivative of l minus w weight l minus two um it's basically the exact same thing except there's a couple more steps where you have to do um go back another perception so you have to find the derivative of uh, a0 of L minus 1 with respect to A0 of L minus 2. And then since there are two paths in which this weight will affect the cost, you have to add the values of both paths. So to find the derivative of the cost, so there are two ways to find the derivative of the cost value, the derivative of cost with respect to WL minus 1, so you basically just add them. And then uh, that's basically finding the derivative of the cost to weight. And once you actually do that, you can um, multiply it by a learning rate that you designed that will change the weight by a specific, that will change the weight's value based on the what you're solving right here times the learning rate that you give it and that's how back propagation works you just change the weights um, based on the average cost with respect to the weight to better help understand how the neural network works i made an app that helps visualize the neural network and it uses python as a back end and Unity and C Sharp as the front end, and uh, I coded it from scratch, so I didn't use any libraries except pandas to help read the data set file that's being trained, or that's training the neural network. The neural network is 
being used to detect if a card credit card is fraudulent or not based on four input data points and a zero and a one to determine if it's fraud or not. So in this so now I can show an example how you'll make the network. So I have uh, an input and output layer. So I'm gonna have three extra layers for the meaning three hidden layers and four input layers with like four inputs values and probably like seven relu and another three relu and like we'll make this four I guess and one sigmoid Then I'll have a 90% training data. So 90% of the data will be trained, 10% will be tested. Then a learning rate of 0.2 and 50 epochs. And an epoch is just a number of times that it uh, it trains the model with the entire data set. And now the network will, now I'll run the network. And this is the visual aspect of the network. Then you can uh, see the output and input. You can see the loss from after every epoch. Doesn't change much after the first few of them. And then And then this is basically the how to net an example of what my network does. And that was the video and I hope you guys now have a better understanding of how neural networks work.